run on solar power. The iconic 42-bed facility is the first of its kind along the entire Lakeshore region. It represents Sunbed Hotel's renewed vigor to improve on infrastructure among some of the company's units across the country. The company has so far invested about 6 billion kwacha in the first phase of the project and plans to complete construction of a 206-seater restaurant by December this year. The company's chairperson, George Patry, said although the industry is yet to recover from the effects of the COVID-19 global health pandemic, the company is optimistic that business will soon bounce back for the better. He said the company plans to plant similar units in some of its potential sites across the country. We know the history of pandemics. They come and go, and we believe that this pandemic will come and it will go, or we will learn how to live with it. So we can't base our investment on the pandemic. Uh, that's a short-term uh, approach to investment. We are approaching it uh, very long term. Looking ahead, the company's chief executive officer, Yusuf Olela, said Sunbed will, in the second phase of the project, inject a further 6 billion kwacha to aid 58 rooms, a conference center, an upscale bar, and a clubhouse to create a mega luxury brand for the upscale market. This is very, very key for us because it builds the confidence that despite the challenges that we're having with COVID, that there's a lot of potential in the tourism industry and that is why Sunbad has just demonstrated so by putting in a six billion investment in the phase one of this project. Speaking to reporters after a tour of the facility, Minister of Tourism, Wildlife and Culture Michael Usi commended Sunbed Hotels for raising the bar in the hospitality sector, urging others in the industry to step up efforts to make Malawi a destination of choice for international visitors. We are very happy because this is a tandem with aspirations as we, you know, are pronounced in the Malawi 2063. The birth of this hotel means creation of new jobs. The birth of this hotel means urbanization, means infrastructure development. So this is really in tandem with the aspirations that we are, as Malawians, united to achieve. When fully completed, the project is expected to generate about 400 direct and indirect jobs for professionals in the sector and people from the surrounding communities. I am Arisa MBC Salima. in terms of my standards, quality.